Hello ladies and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark Roden and in today's video we are going to be going over the top 14 popular cars that I always thought were ugly. These are cars that literally I'm not saying they're bad like I'm not saying their performance is awful and they're like people shouldn't be buying these cars. They're just cars that I think are ugly. Let me make this incredibly incredibly clear. Looks are 110% personal opinion there has been so many times in life where i've been like that girl's pretty to my friend and he's like really or he's been like that girl's pretty to me and i'm like really that is just 100 that's just how human beings work man there are things that you're gonna like the looks of that i'm going to hate the looks of and there are things that you're gonna hate the looks of that i'm going to love the looks of it's just how it works so these cars might be cars that you think are absolutely gorgeous and that is totally fine there are so many cars out there that i probably think are oh my god like i love the sc 300s okay that's a car that i've always thought looked absolutely perfect in every way i thought the body lines are absolutely perfect and no one ever agrees with me on that like no one ever says that those cars are beautiful cars they like them you know they're cool cars but they don't think they're like beautiful to me they are like that's just how the world works okay so don't get too offended um these are 10 14 cars that i think aren't good looking cars that everybody else does oh, let's get right into it with number 14 which goes to the Porsche 911 992. However, I want to start that out by saying, honestly, any Porsche 911. Whoa, whoa, partner, this guy's, oh my God, that's a hot take. That take is so hot. You could grill a steak on it, partner. Wow, -sies. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not a big Porsche 911 fan. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, I'm not saying they're like super ugly and they definitely like, like when I see a nice 911 drive by, I'm, I'm breaking my neck. You know, my neck is going to have to be broken. But I still think, like, if you have Porsche 911, especially 992 money, like, they're brand new, and you decide to buy this of all cars, I just really never understood that. I really haven't. Like, I would much rather buy, like, an Audi R8 for the price that 911, 992s are going for. At least the Turbo S's. I mean, obviously, the Carrera S's, those are just, like, not even, those are just, like, sports cars. So they're not even that expensive either. But still, like, I don't know. They're just not, not my cup of tea. 13th, however, is completely separate from the 911 that we just talked about because it's a Chevy Corvette. I love most generations of the Corvette. I think most generations of the Chevy Corvette are absolutely gorgeous. However, the Chevy Corvette C2 and the C6 are the two that I see a lot of people love and talk about all the time that I disagree with. I love the C5. I think that's gorgeous. I love the C7. I think they're gorgeous. I'm not, I'm kind of partial on the C8. I don't really have an opinion on them, to be honest. The C4, I don't think are gorgeous looking cars. The C3, I think is a gorgeous car. And then the C1, I think it's just okay but same thing with the c2 and the c6 i just think they're just okay i don't think they're bad i don't think they're like horribly ugly like it's not like when i again if i see one driving by i'm gonna be like that's a nice looking car but i people hype these things up the c2 with a split window like those cars are stupidly expensive probably one of the most expensive muscle cars back then of from back then right like they're crazy popular and the c6 is now everyone talks about them but i've never liked either of them especially with the c6 because they ended the pop-up headlights and the headlights are colored why were they color matched to the car? What were you thinking, Chevy? That is the stupidest design choice ever. 12th place, however, is going to the legendary BMW M3 E36. This is what I mean by like, when people think that I like put my personal bias in lists that I make about cheap cars, I, I should refer them to this video because I talk about the E36 as one of like the best budget cars for people to buy all the time because it is. I can look past my personal bias about the fact that I don't like how the E36 looks and still realize that the car is a good car. It is. It's an incredible car. The M3 E36 is great and the base models are good too, especially if you're looking to just get into like a cheap, fun little platform. They are good, but I just don't like how they look. I just think they're boring. They're just boring little sedans. I think almost any M3 is better looking. The M3 E30 is better. M3 E46 is better. E92 is better. F80 is better. G80, I don't know. I'm probably on the fence about that one but i think pretty much almost all of them look better i just think the e36 is a little bit too boring looking it's just a kind of rectangular square body like it really isn't that crazy on top of that it doesn't look anything different from a base model just buy a base model and put an m3 e body kit on it and you got an m3 e36 all right 11th place however is definitely a big hot take because this is like one of the most popular cars right now the mclaren senna uh, I'm a big McLaren guy. So before you're like, oh, this guy just hates McLaren. Not at all. I love the 720S and my dream like hyper car. Like if I had all the money in the world, like literally if I woke up tomorrow with like a billion dollars, the first car I'm buying is a McLaren P1. Like I love how McLarens look. I think they're gorgeous. The Senna? No. I think the Senna's way too over the top. Like people said things like uh, when the Civic Type R FK8 came out, right? They were like, oh, that's riced from factory. And I agreed with them. I thought, you know, having fake vents on a car, all this aggressive arrow on the car was a little bit too much. But then the McLaren Senna came out and it's just like sharp angle here, sharp angle there, vent here, vent there, vent there. And it's like people say that they're, you know, they're, they're useful and they're 
effective vents in, in Arrow. I don't, I don't know if I'd necessarily believe them, you know, I, I really don't think so, because I don't think they need all those vents. It looks like a Batmobile, and I get that Batmobiles can be cool, I guess, to some people. Not me. I just think they're just not, they're just not my style. And I, 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 again, I like McLaren. I just don't like this. 10th place is another car that I recommend to people all the time because it's an incredible option for you if you are looking for a cheap car right now and you're a car guy. The Honda Civic EK hatch. Now, uh, specifically the hatch. I love the EM1 coupes. The S SI 6 Gen coupes. I love those cars. I think they look really cool. Uh, even the sedans, I think, are decent uh, decent cars, especially for their time. But the hatchbacks, I think, are just not, not it. I'm not saying they're stupidly ugly. Uh, I definitely don't think they're like the ugliest uh civic out there you know I, I i i'll say that but like eg hatch better ef hatch better seventh gen hatch probably honestly tied like the ep3 probably tied with the ek i honestly i honestly believe that it's the front end is cool i'm fine with that it's the rear the rear just looks weird man the way that it has like the taillights are like angled up almost like at the like it's like they're like looking at the sky it's just not my style but they are really good cars again and if you want a cheap budget tuner right now they, they are a good option ninth we're going to jump back into hypercar territory it has the hi word hyper in its freaking name the lycan hyper sport what what is that man i never even heard of that before it's the car that vin diesel like jumped out of a building with in fast and furious i freaking hate this thing i'm not even gonna try and be like oh it is a good car man don't worry <laughs> like i did with the senna and the e ek hatch because up until this point all these cars have been cars that i genuinely think are like cool cars and like if i see one i'm gonna be like that's a nice car it's just not my personal style in terms of their looks the like in hypersport is just neither of those i don't think they're a good car and i don't like how they look it's just a one trick show one trick pony whatever you want to call it car that is like yeah it's a super expensive hyper car that has a good top speed what else can it do can it handle well probably not i mean these cars are incredibly rare so i don't think people actually push them to their limits to see what they can do but still like i highly doubt it i guarantee the people creating this car are not like perfecting it and putting it in wind tunnels to make sure that it actually has good good handling and stuff Eighth place is going to one of the world's most popular vehicles right now, especially in the rap scene. If you like rap music, oh my god, every rap music video, they, they have like 15 of these cars doing donuts around them. The Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Uh, not specifically the Hellcat, just the Challenger in general, but I'm going to say the Hellcat because that one gets even more praise than the regular Challengers. Um, uh, it's just a box. I've never understood the modern Challengers. I love the old ones. Like the old 70s. Oh, partner. And the Hemi Cuda partner partner like I've, those were sick cars back then but the new stuff they just look like big rectangular boxes and like muscle cars have muscle car muscle cars have always had a very aggressive like headlight setup like if you see like a challenge uh camaro or a mustang behind you it always looks like really angry right the challengers don't look like that they look like they're just like weird they're just like two circles and it's like i don't i don't get that what was the design choice there Seventh place is another one of those cars that people freaking love in the car community right now and people talk about all the time, the BMW M5 F90. I like BMWs, okay? I'm a big BMW guy, so you might be like, well, this guy has two BMWs on this list, he must hate them. No, I like them, but they make some cars that I don't think are that great looking, and this is one of them. I don't think the F90 M5 is a gorgeous looking car. I would rather have an M3 F80. I said it. I'm not going back on it. I think the M3 F80 looks much more aggressive, has much wider fenders, it looks like a little race car, whereas the M5 F90 just looks like a big saloon and i get that that is what it is it's just a massive big body sedan from bmw with tons of horsepower but it, i mean it just doesn't do it for me it's just kind of boring i i I'd never i've never been the biggest fan of the m5 line in general like the e60 nah, f10 eh. I, f90 i guess is probably like one of the better ones of the line but it's not saying much i'd, I'd say my favorite is probably the e39 like that's a good M M m5 sixth place however is going to hurt a lot of feelings because a lot of you guys probably have these cars because again i recommend them all the time and so people that have these cars probably are like hey that's cool it's the ford mustang s197 uh pre-facelift facelift doesn't matter what it is i probably am not going to like it i just spit all over my freaking camera screen let me just clean that off real quick but yeah i'm probably not gonna like it <laughs> um i've always thought they're just it kind of kind of mid I, I, it's not i obviously I'm not a muscle car guy, you know, I, I, I talk about JDM cars a lot, I love BMWs, so I never really talk too much about muscle cars, but I still know a lot, like, about the muscle car community and, like, what they stand for and stuff like that, and my personal opinion, it's just, 
the Camaros are the cool ones. I, I, I gotta say, I've always just liked the Camaros. They've always just been the ones that like sat the best with me. They always had the best body lines, looked the most aggressive. I will say the new S550 Mustangs are really good looking cars and the Dark Horse Mustang, it's, it's okay. But the S197 just didn't do it for me, man. I, I honestly like the new edge in like the SN95 Mustangs way better than like the S197s. Cause those are like, they have their own personality, you know? Fifth place is a big boy. I guess that's kind of the whole point of this list is that these are cars that everybody else likes, but I don't. The Lamborghini Countach. Uh, I talked about this in my overrated cars video, or cars I thought were underrated, I should say, when I was talking about the Diablo and the Gallardo. But the Countach has always been a car that has never really just done anything for me. I've always thought, like, again, the Diablo and the Gallardo and the Murcielago, the Aventador, the Huracan, I've always thought pretty much every other car from them has been just way better looking. The Countach just looks like a big, sharp-angled, rectangular car that just has all these weird little things sticking out of it. It just looks like something that a kid drew on a paper and then they put to real life and it's just kind of weird. Uh, on top of that, my dad drove one of these and I've watched videos. So even if my dad didn't drive one of these, I would be able to know this, but my dad drove one and he told, tells me every time that I bring up like Lamborghini that he would never, he never wants to drive another one because of how awful the experience was to drive a Lamborghini Countach. It was that bad. Like it was miserable. He said he had to take his shoes off to drive it because you can't, the pedals are so close together. Like that's just doesn't sound fun fourth place however is one that i don't know how popular it is but it's the mitsubishi starian the mitsubishi starian it's it's this is kind of a weird one because the rest of the list is you know popular cars and i would say the mitsubishi starian is actually if anything a little underrated like i feel like most people don't talk about this car and it, it definitely deserves a little bit more praise than it gets but it's still like i just it, it okay you know what the Mitsubishi Starion is like the JDM equivalent to the Countach that we just talked about. It has, it's just like a weird square rectangular car that I've never gotten behind. I've always just kind of didn't like the looks of it. Is it a good car? Yeah. It was like a rally legend back in the day too. It did motorsports and all kinds of motorsports and it was pretty good at them. And it was, that was pretty cool. Mitsubishi doesn't have a lot of cars like that. They got like the Eclipse, the 3000 GT and the Evo and the Gallant, I guess. But the Starion, it was, it was an outcast. It was a weird one, you know, and I, I respect it for that. But it looks not my style and it's a pop-up headlights car like that hurts third place is going to the audi s4 b6 honestly any s4 what yeah yup that's right pretty much any s4 besides the uh s4 b5 i've always loved the s4 b5 that's like a dream car of mine like i freaking love how that thing looks it's just so cool but the s4 b6 i always thought it just looked like a big old bean like a like a big kidney bean rolling down the freaking street and i never really understood the looks behind it is it a good car absolutely a freaking v8 making like 340 horsepower going to all four wheels in the early 2000s that's incredible come on is it i don't care if it's the most unreliable car in the world it's a freaking v8 making 340 horsepower going to all four wheels that's insane like that it's a great it's a great car it's a cool car looks wise no no sorry no sorry i can never get behind it. i even drove an audi a4 b6 my friend had one and i did like the driving experience again i thought it was a fun car to drive but i still would never be able to own one man i just don't like how they look second place was at one of my cars that was in my most overrated cars video and this is why the nissan skyline gtr r34 Woo, that's gonna hurt the jdm boy i'm gonna have jdm fans outside my house burning it down partner but listen i'm not a, J, uh, a jdm hater if anything i'm a jdm i'm a jdm fan you know i like those i like jdm cars i have had two of them i love them but i like every single gtr the, at least the big gtrs better than the r34 including the r33 yes the r32 is obviously so much cooler i do like the r35 a whole lot better than the r35 i just think the r34 is just not that cool it just kind of looks like a regular sedan like yes it has super wide fenders compared to like their regular skylines and that is cool it's an aggressive looking car and i respect it for that but in terms of everything else about it man i don't I, it's just not for me i think the r33 r32 and the r33 did it so much better on top of that the spoiler is just weird it's just out of place it just doesn't make sense the car's too squared off like the R32 and the R33 were much more rounded off and it's such a better look. Like it's an over fender kit that was poorly put on. That's weird. It just, everything about the car looks weird. It doesn't look good. I don't like how these things look. I, the only redeemable factor is like the, and I mean only redeemable factor, by the way, is the engine 
compartment like that part of the car is cool because the spoiler comes up behind it and i think that part's cool and then where the engine sits you can like look in and see the engine i've always liked that in mid-engine or rear engine well this is a mid-engine but yeah mid-engine slash rear engine cars i've always liked how you could look on top of it and see where the engine is that 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 part's cool but that's not something that like bugatti did that's super special so i don't like well, it well ladies and that is the end of today's video of the top 14 popular cars that i think are just gosh darn ugly so ugly so freaking ugly i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a warning today is monday and so tomorrow's tuesday and i'm filming this on monday this video however will probably go live thursday and most likely i will not be uploading on friday or saturday so this is going to be a three video weeks i didn't upload monday either because it was a day after my birthday and i went out and partied a little bit so i was you know recovering today so i was uh i was i didn't wake up wake up until like 2 30 and then i was just not feeling good and then i wanted to watch some game of thrones with my parents which i've been doing quite recently but yeah i pretty long story short i didn't upload monday uh then tuesday i did wednesday i most likely did and then today when you see this video it's going to be thursday uh but to then tomorrow i'm going to my sisters for the weekend and we're leaving at like 2 p 2 8, 2 p.m and so i'll probably not be able to upload that day either um and then I'm leaving Sunday night, and so I'll hopefully be able to upload again on Sunday. But yeah, just wanted to say we're probably going to be missing a couple more days this week for some other reasons. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like these. That's Vidania, and have a nice night.